Hey, John here. Today is Sunday, the 10th of April 2016. Time is going fast and uh, I've run out of time really uh, for our a meeting hui, up in uh, Waitangi to raise the funds. But however, I made a decision today after talking to the chief there, uh, King Itoru, that we will be taking the um, uh, hall, the, the Paihia War Memorial Hall. I had it booked on, on the 6th of, um, well pre-booked on the 6th of April, just in case I didn't get the marae at Titi. Uh, the cost was um, a bit too much out of my reach and um, was going to take too long to raise the funds. I don't think it was going to be possible. Anyway, uh, we've come, we've got other um, means of getting by. So now uh, it'll be Wednesday. Um, we'll be arriving at the War Memorial Hall about 7.30, uh, Jamie and I. And Desmond and um, Kawanata, Bay, uh, Kawanata will be up there already uh, in Matari Bay. Uh, so we've got our little organising crew for the hui. I want to make it uh, very special uh, and also to um, work in with the um, hall there. It's a whole 70 people and we'll have a, a koha there. I'll have a box here on the table with a little slot in it and so they can just put the koha in, in here, donation. And this box, I'll just make it colourful so that it's, that's how I do my, uh, run my meetings on other marae down the east coast in Auckland. I usually have a box like this on the table in front of me and they'll just put their donations in there like koha on a normal marae. But um, in saying so, uh, we've still got three days there. Between then and uh, Titi Marae, uh, we'll take precedence over the hui, uh, then the um, memorial hall. Uh, we'll be there for, I need lots more time to explain uh, the um, all the documents for the um, commercial side of this flag, the Whakaputanga flag. Uh, we're doing the commercial uh, trading bank uh, side of uh, this um, flag around the world in the Commonwealth uh, countries, 53 of them, and also 250 countries in the world are going with this flag, Jamie and I. Uh, Jamie, Anna, Marie, Patrick, Stewart, or Patrick, uh, and we'll um, be uh, raising the flag in Devon, England, after we raise it here on the um, treaty grounds. So far, so good. Um, we've got the Taumata, um, the Ngāpui Nui Tōnu. Uh, they're in charge of this hui, not more, more or less not me. I'm just um, preparing uh, the legal side for the Tomata on Titi Marae, even though I didn't get the Marae myself to hire. Uh, nevertheless, I still follow their protocol uh, and uh, King is saying the Poroporoaki or the uh, Pofili, sorry, um, welcome will be at 10 o'clock on Thursday. Uh, so it'll be away on Wednesday. So our meeting in the first place will be at the, um, for people to meet at the uh, Paihia uh, War Memorial Hall at um, 10 o'clock on the Wednesday. Um, um, that's on Williams Williams Road in the middle of the uh, uh, township. You can easily find it, the War Memorial um, Hall, uh, not far from the main road. Uh, so that's where we'll meet. Um, we will um, uh, be starting uh, to have our meetings. Uh, we'll leave the Purupuraki for, um, I mean the um, um, Pofiri, for on Thursday uh, as a ropu. Uh, that means the, the whole lot of us uh, uh, meeting with the, um, the local uh, Ngāpui. The Whakaminanga group will already be in the marae, so us and everybody else visiting, you're coming there to the marae. Uh, we'll be meeting at the gate at 10 o'clock to be welcomed onto the marae, uh, specifically for raising the flag issues and everything that is um, 
meetings we've had with um, 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 Kohepa Epiha and the um, elders uh, in the 39 hapu in the whole districts that he has uh, canvassed over to bring them together. And so if you've got anything to say, it's, it's going to be the main subject. The Whakaputanga flag and the contract with the Navy. If they're not there, then I'm waiting for their letter tomorrow from uh, Joe um, Shannon, the executive uh, assistant of the Chief of Navy. Uh, and so she told me to put it in writing. So I only did that on last Friday, not much time. Uh, because that's the only time I got the clearance to go into the marae at the top marae on the treaty grounds through the gate, 5 o'clock in the morning, and also the marae on that side to have a uh, um, spiritual um, uh, karakia and uh, hui uh, for the, uh, uh, this occasion that's 182 years old from the 10th of March 1834. So that's the 1834 part of the commercial land mortgage side of the settlement of Kororareka at Russell. When the British came in, they settled there on the land pre-sold from Britain under the Scottish land laws of um, England. Uh, and so that's the part that I'm administering uh, here on behalf of the uh, Taumata elders of Titi Marae and Ngāti Rahiri and Ngāti Rehia. Ngāti Kawa Marae on the uh, Titi and Waitangi blocks. I have the original titles with one house on the whole area to base the um, um, history on the first title um, uh, with Henry Williams. Uh, I've got that. And so we're, we're putting things back into perspective of this flag in its rightful place at the top of the flag mast uh, of the Admiralty ship uh, as a court, house, authority of jurisdiction, uh, uh, laws of the sea, onto the laws of the land. Uh, and that's that ship mast in the treaty grounds. The flag will be going up the right way. And the, um, uh, the Union Jack 1902 flag will lower down from the top of the mast to the opposite side of the British flag that's been sitting there for a long time with this one. And so that, this one will go to the top where it commands the world, okay? This is a flag of the whole world, free passage, uh, that someone's been using. I'm um, uh, asking the Navy to come to account for their side of the story of 182 years. They've got to be there. I'm saying to the Navy, please send a representative because your chief of uh, uh, Navy uh, Rear Admiral John Martin is still overseas uh, and he's been there for quite some time. I've been waiting for him to come back so that we can have him come to the meeting and to talk to the um, chiefs. There was a chance to do it when we were on the Malai at the uh, Waitangi Day, but uh, opportunity was missed because the flagpole did not have the 1902 flag up the top. This one's supposed to go up on, on Waitangi Day. Uh, on, in the morning at five o'clock. We're repeating that exercise where the spot was vacant. It is a Admiralty decision-making uh, 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 job for the Hapu to talk to the Navy in Britain uh, and so I've written to them already and I've had the letters going backwards and forwards with the Navy. We had no response for three letters and so that's exhausted the Navy side of representing the Hapu. They're there for the Iwi, but not the Hapu. And so we have asked the British to assist us uh, with um, making sure they clear the way for the flag to go up the top. That's our business between us and Westminster Parliament and Britain, where I'm going with Jamie. Uh, and also it's our business in contract with the um, uh, uh, King of England, uh, King William IV. Okay, so that's um, in, in history with unbroken sovereignty uh, from King William to us, our own sovereignty. At any stage, we can go self-government, and we have already done that on the Marae, the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of February, 
2016 finished and we've made our decisions to seize the land back in that block of land and other pieces of land in Auckland and the East Coast. So I've written it only that far as much as to say the whole country and the Pacific Islands comes under this flag and also the uh, Commonwealth of the world is this flag of a King of England. Um, statement of, 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 uh, statement of uh, confidence in the King of England as the monarch, sovereign of Westminster Parliament. The Queen is not there for John Key and we've got a, 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 an article from the uh, Tonga Times, Tonga, Tonga News there on the 22nd of um, December 2009, John Key had a charge against him under the Crimes Act 1961, New Zealand Crimes Act, of treason and opening the Supreme Court uh, uh, without the Queen's consent or without her statement of confidence from Westminster Parliament and the British government, okay, in Parliament. There is no, um, no seal of the court no seal of the police, New Zealand police, and no seals of the parliament to base their governing this country. We have the right to step in uh, to assume and to resume our uh, flag of jurisdiction over the Supreme Court jurisdiction because they haven't got the seal that we have of King William on his horse and his ship of Admiralty on our seal that we're using for our documentation to authenticate everything we write is admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London, Rolls Building, um, uh, Fitter Lane in England. Okay, so we have that sorted in all the documents and uh, I'm bringing up to Waitangi uh, to the uh, Paihia War Memorial Hall on Williams Road in Paihia. You can always ask, it's easy enough to find where that is. And so I'm uh, letting them know uh, tomorrow that we will uh, take uh, the, Mara uh, the um, hall and also to let uh, Wairete uh, Paura, uh, the organiser of the Titi Marae, know that I will not be taking the Marae as higher and we will come there as a Rōpū to uh, walk in there and bring our um, our co-papa, uh, which is the Whakamininga, to the Whakamininga there, uh, sitting on the Taumata. So, and also, there'll be some of the Ngāpui coming in with the Roku, and uh, we're inviting uh, uh, Tuhoe again, and Namani Apoto, and Tainui, and Arawa to be there, uh, to witness this um, uh, occasion. Uh, 182 years of celebrating this flag from the Whakamininga side, which is two sides to this uh, flag. Uh, there's the the first settlers that come here on the mortgage, like I was just explaining, and that was the contract that set the, the pre sold the land here from Britain. And then we've got the confederation of tribes with the same flag starting from uh, the one I'm saying the 1834 is called Rareka. The 1835 starts from the treaty grounds where this flag is hanging on the crossbar. It hangs on the crossbar at Kororareka in Russell for 12 days in, in, in the year. Um, in, the, in the year, the, this flag is flying as a connection to Britain. For the Navy to have occupation of the, of the land, uh, links to Britain, and also uh, the land leases uh, comes out of that part of the British titles. And I'm administering the British native titles investigation. Okay, so I'm doing all that linked to the uh, fraud land sales on the Lynns and New South Wales titles that are different titles again to these Crown British titles. Uh, so uh, I'm saying uh, that um, uh, with the advent of the uh, investigations of the Panama Papers uh, and the tax havens <coughs> that's coming into the equation at the moment because we're going to be using our private investigators contract, contract, everything's contract in this flag. It is the contract that sends us around the world straight off into the 250 countries this flag will go straight to. 
And so I'm implementing that from London, and we're sitting up there, the um, uh, Commonwealth of uh, Commonwealth Government of the World, the Queen, the King William the Fourth Moai Crown Commonwealth Government of the World. Okay, that's this flag on that side of that 1834 side of this um, uh, flag, 182 years. It's 181 years from the 28th of October 2016 back to the 28th of October 1835. So this is 181 years to October this year. So we're celebrating late by uh, a month uh, in the month of March uh, this other uh, Whakamininga part. The eight tribes of Napui, I've, I've got all your titles here, I've got all your history to this flag from that point in time under the Pūtu, Pūtukawa tree in Nairi uh, at uh, Matari Bay in the Bay of Islands. Okay, so that history, um, 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 the Komatua, uh, Taumata of the uh, Ngāti Kuramarae uh, uh, in uh, Matari Bay, uh, Pohepa Epiha, is responsible for the, uh, the history of the Pohutukawa tree and also his son is um, narrating the uh, Maui uh, uh, Rapanui story. I've seen him and his videos are very good. I'm pleased with uh, that side of him having that connection to our memorial uh, to East Island uh, and to King William's memorial tied up under that Pohutukawa tree. So those are on that Ngāti Rahiri land and the Ngāti Kawa Hapu's land. The British landed up on their land, not in Auckland, in this case. They landed on that Hapu's Marae land. So it is, by right, the Ngāti Kawa Marae Titi and also the uh, Marae, the Waitangi Marae on the other side, the top Marae, is the same Marae we are confiscating. The whole land, the marae there, the whole uh, uh, marae area uh, of TB3 blocks, the, the Titi blocks, where the Titi marae is, all those blocks, I've got the title here, I've got the one title uh, uh, that no one can challenge, uh, that, uh, that uh, organic title. Uh, so I'm doing it for you people uh, to put your history right and then we can move on. There's no winners in this, uh, and it's everybody uh, that I'm doing this for. No, not so much Maori because I'm going at the 1%, or the one point of the star of eight points is Britain. The seven points is the seven workers from the Pacific Islands, and so I'm going to be a Pākehā side of the um, commerce to find and investigate where all that commerce went and who's been using this flag, and where, where's our portion of the uh, revenue from uh, the King's Royal Revenue and the courts. So I'm there to, to audit the books, I'm there to audit the uh, Panama uh, tax havens here and in uh, Pacific Islands. And so I'll be doing that between here and Britain and, uh, and firing in the best of the investigators as soon as we get the pound note legal and the flag up legal, those are the two uh, um, um, parts of this um, commerce, the king, the flag, and the pound note. There, we have three legal instruments that are not reinvented, they are real. From back then, they haven't been gotten rid of, they're still there under contract with Westminster Parliament and us and the king is fixed in statute law to extend forevermore, fixed for life. No one can change that contract to the Admiralty Court Martial Law, whereas I want to make a statement here that the Pope Francis destroyed all trusts and destroyed all corporations right through the world, and including parliaments that are using UCC law, canon law, civil law, uh, um, uh, uh, courier law, uh, and um, uh, Admiralty law, mortgage law and all the laws that the government is using are destroyed. If they're using the law, you can challenge anyone using the Pope's admiralty laws of mortgage. 
This is an Admiralty mortgage law. We can use it because it's our king that created the acts for it. Okay? So they can't touch the 1832-1837 acts for Parliament in Westminster. That's the acts I'm using as the sheriff and the surrogate king to talk for the king and administer our business without interference because it's private. It's private between us and the British military. This is your business. The military, I'm expecting, when we put the flag up, uh, Michael Fallon, the Secretary of uh, Defence in the British military, I shall pay you for the 10 years. I know your budget is 45 billion. I shall pay you in advance on the pound note for the next 10 years to recover and salvage and confiscate with us all that the Queen says she owns is now forfeited and everything that is fraudulent you'll find all of it is. Okay, that's the Rothschild banks, the Rothschild banks, the Pope who's been using this flag, the Vatican been using this flag, the Queen's been using this flag, Obama's been using this flag, and <coughs> uh, 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 and, and so, we're in New Zealand, government's been using this flag. So they've helped themselves to our portion of what revenue there is in our trust. The Queen Victoria Trust is holding that uh, um, um, inheritance that we have the beneficiaries, been beneficiaries of that for such a long time. So we are going, I'm going to investigate that, Jamie and I, and some people already waiting for us in England. Uh, so um, through them and in America. We've got our, our um, person there uh, and also in Scotland. So we've got people now in place to administer this Commonwealth of the World Government, New World Order. Okay, so we are there to seize everything off the Pope that he has uh, fraudulently used our instruments to derive all of his wealth. He's going to find himself with the militaries in 193 countries in the UN and 250 countries in the world that were going with this flag to recover everything because we'll pay them with the pound note as a levy debtor instrument and also uh, we will be uh, um, putting together a team here of sheriffs and uh, also sheriffs in England and Scotland and Ireland to administer that side of our partnership uh, with the Westminster Parliament and the British military is obligated to help us to get going with this. We have the rights of this flag and its patents and the printing money um, rights and the printing the coins rights of King William IV is connected to William the Conqueror, is connected to um, Ernest Augustus um, and is, is connected to um, um, King Solomon and before that Ernest Augustus. Okay, so that long line of inheritance, we are part of that. We're going to be investigating all the way through that trail of inheritance to the, um, the king's and the king's royal revenue that we are um, part of. Okay, so that's that's uh, basically what I'm um, supposed to be a short video, uh, but I'm getting prepared to go up north with Jamie, and um, well, we will see you up there. But I just make it one more time. Uh, the latest is we've changed our plans of having uh, a full-on uh, hui and hiring the whole marae is out now. Okay, I'll let you know so you don't guess. You've still got um, uh, three days, two days to uh, know you're coming up there and there's a place to have a hui in the um, War Memorial Hall in Paihia, uh, of for the three days. So um, it suits our budget. We can afford that in the kitchen. It's got a kitchen there and facilities. It's got the state of the art. Uh, new uh, um, business facilities and a boardroom 
Uh, so we are more business there. Uh, that I wanted to sit down and explain everything because it takes quite a long time um, and we'll be going from um, uh, as much time as we can from 9 o'clock on Wednesday uh, to uh, 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock and on Thursday it'll be from 10.30 to um, uh, 5 o'clock and then on Friday it'll be from 7 o'clock because we'll go there for breakfast after uh, the um, 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday the, the um, ceremony for the uh, flag raising and also for the blessing the uh, marae and uh, land and getting the last rites of our next journey into the next 182 years we're going to make a mark in time uh, for our people to make their way ahead and on their own steam and their own authority, and their own flag, their own king, and their own law. We got the, the law of the um, land laws of England, the pound note of England, well we are pound note, and until we get ours going by itself. And you'll notice a lot of things on our, our website, uh, moaipowerhouse.com, M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M, moaipowerhouse.com. It will show you there everything you need to know and learn a little bit at a time because it's new for everybody right through the world on changing the whole systems around to suit the new world order. I've already made some um, uh, 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 way into that and, and knowing what, what, what the new world order looks like in its laws coming out on the 16th of July 2016 this year. May not happen but I'm, I'm, I'm bracing myself as if it was going to happen, we're going to carry on with the New World Order, this flag. Okay, we are all prepared, we have everything in place, we have our, our, our history in place, we have our memorials, the Moai statue in, in, in London, New York, Washington DC, New Zealand, Dunedin and Auckland. The original stone memorial of Moai is Tahitian and is our bloodline. Okay, so it's our bloodline and also King William's Memorial, standing in um, uh, William Yard, uh, Navy Yard in uh, Devon, England, Devon Port, England. That's where I'm going with Jamie and we're setting up the uh, um, uh, Sheriff's County Court in Plymouth and that court will be set up here on Marais, take precedent as the King's Bench Court with this um, um, concept of um, courts uh, justice system is quick and also in the district court we'll be doing the um, hiring the um, uh, buildings for our common law courts uh, in, in the, the normal courts and um, it's our right to be on the other side of a, of a Queen's Bench Court judge and so they are going to be subject to what we say according to what the police have got to arrest John Key he's, he's, he's in trouble He's in trouble for opening this parliament up without the consent of the Queen in writing and also the Governor-General. Appointing the Governor-General, you'll see I've got videos warning them not to open the government because they had no Queen way back. You know, right from 2008, I've documented it all through with affidavits. There's over 3,000 affidavits on that point in 2008 before the Queen signed the Lisbon Treaty which has gone to all this racket now. And I knew what they were going to do with the king and <clears throat> made a mess of it. Now they're caught up in their tax havens and um, it's going to cost them dearly as a consequence of the Navy not being there to put the flag up on Kurarareka. It signaled to the chiefs that they no longer want to occupy those lands and they no longer want the lease of these lands anymore because they have to come to us and we have the clear title, the perfected title to the land and they don't have, they're still trying to buy it out of Maori and Maori do not have the titles, they do not have the history uh, it's the Moai and the Hapu that has the history, they've borrowed it the Maori Land Court, the Maori uh, Tribunal, the Maori uh, uh, titles are all belong to the Crown Corporation private companies of John Key and all their government right through. They are running their own ship and we are running our own ship 
and we got the British ship there. We we're putting this flag on the ship from the side of the bar up the top because it's our ship that it belongs to our uh, our business and our land. It's our land that they're using. And I want to make this point about the uh, uh, Simon Bridges selling off the seabeds. You're in trouble. You're in trouble because, like I'm saying, you have no right to sell any lands without the consent of these Tomata elders on Titi Marae where John Key can't come in. He can't come in on this Marae in uh, Ngāti Whātū or Rākei because they've barred him from having any legal say about the resources from now on because he can't get their consent and he hasn't got the consent through the Supreme Court and Sean Elias, the Chief Justice, she's in trouble too. They're all in trouble because they're running racket in the Parliament and the wine box. The wine box, I'm, I'm, I was with Winston Peter on that in New Zealand First. I was a candidate in New Zealand First in Epsom uh, with Gavin Logan. Okay, and this Christine Fletcher was in the National Party and I was one of the candidates with Gavin Logan of the New Zealand First there with Toe Henry and, uh, and, uh, and um, Tuga Morgan uh, and uh, the rest of them that the took off and jumped the ship. Okay, now they're in the mess. Right? Anything Maori doesn't go far. It wasn't made to last. You see, that's why I'm saying that uh, uh, the normal people are being disadvantaged because of what the, the Crown has done, designed everything for themselves and their private business. So we have a legitimate right for New Zealand people with the King, which is solid. It is solid history, unbroken continuity of sovereignty right back to 14 AD. Ernest Augustus. Augustus to uh, King Solomon. That line all the way through. Okay, it's a true story. What I tell you is the truth. And what I say about the Moai is the truth. And so that's what they can't face. I'm still waiting for my barrister, eight weeks now, to give me the full disclosure that he got right back that I asked for because the policewoman, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, hiding away in Solomon Island, see, they spirited her out of New Zealand till the end of the year thinking it's going to go away. No, she's going to get caught. Okay, She's got a warrant on her head from us. As soon as that flag goes up, she's in trouble, and a trillion pounds on each head. Now, I just found out today, online, that the government, the federal state, picks up 800 million per citizen. That's their bond insurance that they're using in the courts. 800 million each person. So my trillion is not far off. You see what I mean? My trillion pound note wasn't far off. I calculated it and I'm out up where it should be. Plus extras, right? Plus interest on 800,000, 800, 800 uh, billion, 800 million, sorry. Uh, uh, so there, there, there we go. We're saying that they have been doing this without your knowledge. Okay, so it's all, all coming to pieces. And um, so we're, we're going to use the power note to debtor them all, and it's yours. We're, 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 we're built that into this concept, and it's our land. The people of New Zealand has to make their mind up which side you're on. The Queen side and John Key, or no Queen and John Key, and John Key all on his own with his flag that never went anywhere, or the King and the Moai, not the Maori, the Moai. And I'm just saying that I'm being blunt. The Moai, not the Maori, do not use Maori on your documents because they got the copyright on it and the patents to that name and everything. That's why they're coming. That's why we're going back to who we were in the first place. Our own memorial to our ancestors. Okay? And this one. So now we've got a divided country on those people who support John Key. You're going to get debted straight off. You're going to get debted to the people who join the Moai right around the world. So our target is a billion people in a short time with this. When the flag goes up, we're going around the world straight away, me and Jamie, 
to pick up everybody who's lying around, then throw this money we recover, gold we recover, land we recover, back to everybody. Okay? So Maori, you people, you better change yourself back to what you were in the first place, natives. If you've got anything but Maori, anything but Maori, leave the Maori to the Maoris and uh, the Iwis and their documents because they're going to get a bill. They're getting the bill from us. Okay? So you better be nothing than one of those. And, uh, and Trump, we're supporting Trump and his methods, being a businessman, of running America and they're trying to pull him to pieces. Well, they're not trying very hard to get me to pieces because I'm still there. I'll always be here as the person I'm being, not a minister that comes and goes and retires. I see Clayton Crossgrove, after all these years in the government, leaving. You see, they leave like a dust, a puff of wind, and gone. I don't leave. I'm here all the time. I'm here like the Maui statue stands there and stares at you all day long, all night, in all the years. He's still there. Okay? So that's longevity of something solid to hold on to. And we're forming uh, cooperatives to spread this wealth back through this way. We credit you on your phone and it'll come out automatically uh, on what we recover and split out, right? So that it comes out every week better than the dollar. It'll work out much better and less headaches than what you're seeing. Okay, so that's my message to you people on this video. I just wanted to let you know a little bit of news. I'll make a short video afterwards. But I always like to let you know everything of what I'm thinking. So that's the, the, the best I can do. It's a lot of hard work to think of how to do this. And I've been had cooperation with the Navy and with the uh, Marae, at the top Marae uh, committee. And uh, thank you very much to, to, to the um, uh, uh, McManus, uh, Greg McManus, the uh, CEO of the uh, Waitangi uh, National Marae. Um, committee and also to um, Wairiti, uh, Paora and Kingi uh, for letting me have the Marae at Titi um, and also um, uh, access from to go to the flag staff and, and talk to the Navy. So I'm waiting for them, I'm hoping they would come and tell their story because I'm only saying things in statements out aloud and if they say nothing, I'm saying this statement. If the Navy says nothing, just like John Key says nothing, he doesn't answer my letters, neither did the Queen, and uh, neither did any other person. The, the Secretary of State then, um, Philip Hammond, did always answer me, and I got an answer back from Michael Fallon's office. So that, that's, that, that's the only time I got a, a reply, something as important as this. So um, that's, what, that's what I'm saying now, I've forgotten what I was going to say about um, uh, before. Uh, but anyhow, um, I just I just need to say that um, 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 for the navy, yes, that's right. Now I found it again. The navy, uh, your, it's your duty to come because you've been with this flag and putting it up and down, up and down all these years, um, um, representing the British. And we want to know what your thoughts are for the next 182 years. So, uh, Joe, uh, Shannon, uh, can you please send somebody to the uh, Porphyry at 10 o'clock on Thursday? Uh, Kingy's uh, talking to him today at uh, 12 o'clock, and so he's happy with that idea. He won't be there on Wednesday, so I, I won't be doing anything on Wednesday, only at the uh, Paihia uh, Community Hall, uh, the um, War Memorial Hall. Uh, if anybody in the public want to come there and listen to what I'm saying, you're quite welcome. Uh, and um, uh, a koha will be uh, in a car and a lunch uh, will be put on uh, by our, our crew and so you can have a question, uh, questions about all of what I'm saying and anything in the future uh, economy and um, uh, banking pound notes, uh, flags, uh, Britain, Westminster, uh, history, Maui, uh, engineering, uh, tidal energy in the sea, hydrogen, anything like that you can ask me or go to our website, uh, John Wano and Facebook, and you'll see it all in there. 66 uh, Facebook sites, plus one more today, uh, a couple of days ago. 
uh, there's a lot of information there for everybody in the world. So we're hoping to uh, uh, Navy uh, one more time. We're expecting you to come. We're not um, um, expecting any police to be involved because I'm saying the police have a, enough of a problem of identity and themselves and their oath of office uh, is at stake now and their seal. The seal of the police is at stake because the Queen is not there to uh, authenticate their uh, justification of, of ruling um, and, and any land issues. It's very uh, sensitive uh, if you don't know what you're doing with land, and I do. I do know everything. I have to know about our native lands to investigate the ones who are using it. It's our, it's our inheritance right, inherent right, as chiefs and, and native landowners, uh, landlords and, and rent chiefs, to check you people who are mortgaging our lands and not letting us or disclosing to us everything you're doing on it. If we find that you're doing something that's fraudulent or breaking laws of this country and Britain, then we can hold you up and have you removed. Now, Navy, because you've indicated to us in silence, we accept your silence as being consenting to all we say because no one can tell us it's wrong. All the statements I make about these land titles is true. It's my word against anyone who does not refute any of our affidavits and there's been enough of them already. And all I'm saying is we're seizing the lands of uh, the T, uh, Tiki blocks and the Waitangi blocks. The Taumata and the elders have agreed with me to go ahead from uh, the 4th, the 5th and 6th of February when I stood up and told them. The intention I had was to seize, confiscate the ship of Admiralty and the flags and the obelisk, the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi obelisk and we, we confiscate that, the land that it sits on, the marae that's on there and on the other side we're seizing the marae, everything of value to forfeit against the debt now that we are suspecting inside the scam of the Panama Papers tax havens set up here. Now warning to all those people who have run away from those other countries, America and Saudi Arabia and, and uh, Turkey and England and, and that are running around with this flag using this king's authority of mortgage lands, banks, loans, transfers, anything to do with financial investment interests using King William's Acts of Parliament, you're liable, singly, because the Pope said so, because he's using this as well. So he gets the bill too. He gets the bill because he's using the Queen to get to the King, okay? And we are the King's partner in contract to salvage everything and get the militaries around the world, I'll pay them with the pound note to receive, re retrieve, salvage, confiscate everything to pay the bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. When it was noted today on my Facebook that I picked it up at 800 million per person as a bomb in the courts. Okay? So I'm using that figure as only portion of a trillion pound note on each person's head. So that means there's over one million people who voted for John Key. You multiply that by a trillion each, that's a lot of money. Sorry, that's how we work in this Moai, Crown, King William the Fourth, Commonwealth Government of the World. Okay? That's the rule. That's the laws that are passed with the Taumata at Waitangi, the 4th, the 5th and the 6th of February this year, passed. Okay, that's the third time I've got consent from them in writing to go to Westminster to sort the flag issue and the trust. The Queen Victoria Trust 
is forfeited because it's defaulted. It's defaulted because the Queen has compromised our trust and gone with the EU Parliament and carved the money out of it. So I'm going to go with the British military under orders of the King, surrogate, in place of King Ernest Augustus when I get there, I'll be nominating him straight into the new government in Devon. Okay, he's going to go on his land and do it with his memorial in the courthouse. And so he's on his own land to do it, just like Trump, his own money, his own everything. So they can't dictate. Right? It'd be this, this queen, this king, I mean, and his money and his laws all over again from 1830 to 1837 period of time that we are enacting and enforcing those laws right now on these lands. The Hanging and Chains Act, you can notice me that they're using the Hanging and Chains Act and the Execution Act, they're using it in the world. The pirates are using, this flag is a pirate flag. It's for people who tamper with our business between us and the British military. They're using it to make money out of and force money out of people and they land off them with our flag. I'm going there to remove it from the Queen and it will all stop. It will all stop, including the Rothschilds. So everybody out there, the Russians, the Indians, the Chinese, are getting rid of all the other money. So this one in this pound note can come in. It's clean. It is debt free. It's a creditor's flag. It has no debts. It will never have debts. Never. It's a giveaway, more so. So the last thing I want to say is this. To the Navy, Please come to the Puffity on Thursday at 10 a.m. and then to the celebration on the Friday at 5 o'clock to the Flagstaff and help us to put the flag up and celebrate 182 years of us being together as partners. You've got a duty of care to us than the commercial side that you've gone on with John Key and the police in their own private businesses and left us out. You have left us out. We're not about to forgive you. We're only saying we needed to hear what you wanted to say. Do you want to go back to England? Or do you want to stay here longer so that we can renew our contract? This time we'll be renewing it, not the British. Okay? The British leaves us to sort our own country and its governing structures out. And that's where we are today. We have a legal right to run this country better than what it is now. 118 billion in debt. And everybody screaming, debt. And that's all you are, John Key. One hell of a debt. And we're not going to have any more of it on our land. And you're not going to sell our seabed off. You're not going to drill holes in there because we're going to go in with this flag and put it on the east coast, put a stop to it. We're going to put a stop to the TBPA, can come and talk to the Hapu, the landlords, the rent chiefs. That's not my job, that's their job. I'm there with the bank, the Maui bank, okay, with the pound note and the gold coins, bank and the administration of that and dispersing to the whole people in the world. We're hoping to get a billion people in a short time who can just come in, grab a 25 pound share free, and you'll get a big slice of everything going on here. Okay, so that's the appeal I make to you, people in the world. Join us, any country. We'll get that going. As soon as we get the flag up, we'll be financial. We're seizing 77 Cook Street. Just let you know. Please, please respect what we are doing here because this time the barrister has not disclosed to me the disclosure forms he's holding on to. And that I find is unfair to have hold me out all this time, eight weeks, and I haven't seen them yet. And what's the problem? And why did you please send? Detective, CIB, Natalie Flowerdew Brown to Solomon Islands 
and hit her away. Well, she'll have to come back here and face me because that's the way we work. We do justice this way because she's hiding fraud for you people in that land block and it's going to come out with all this scam going on and I'm not finished with it. I'm not finished with the judges. I'm not finished with the police to get to the bottom of it. It's you're either right or I'm wrong. One or the other. But I can't hear anything from anybody saying in front of me with all those documents. They're admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London. All my documents on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. They are all evidence against you because you haven't got anything yet to prevent me from taking my land back. Those are my ancestors' lands in Cook Street. The whole lot. In fact, the whole walk. Okay, we have the titles. The perfected title. The clear title. Okay? Just telling you, warning you, that that letter from Tonga, or that newspaper, because New Zealand Herald and the papers here wouldn't publish. And I warned them about opening that Supreme Court, appointing a Governor General without the Queen. You did it without the Queen. You're liable because you have no seal. And your documents that got me arrested, you had no arrest warrant, please. You had no arrest warrant. You had no seal on it of authority from a high authority than this flag. You had no authority. You confiscated my shirt. That's what the barrister was saying. Shouldn't have did that. Shouldn't have come in my house. Shouldn't have come in here. Shouldn't have took my shirt off me and stripped me. Shouldn't have arrested me. And see, how many laws did you break? How many did I break? None. I broke no laws because I'm very careful at not breaking laws. You broke the laws. I had to do that to make you break the law, to catch you. Catch you. There's 40 people with a trillion pounds on your head. That 40 trillion, that goes back to everybody who joins this regime. Okay? It's going to grow very fast. It's exciting.